Well, members who failed to renew coverage under Indiana's Medicaid program known as the Healthy Indiana Plan will face a six-month suspension period. That's a change from 2016. As Taylor Haggerty reports, some officials say it's unclear how the lockouts will impact more than 400,000 Hoosiers enrolled in HIP. The changes are part of last week's federal authorization. They allow Indiana to continue operating its program for another three years. But they also require HIP enrollees to complete annual eligibility paperwork to keep their coverage. Mark Fairchild is the director of public policy for covering kids and families in Indiana. He says for most enrollees, the lockouts shouldn't be a concern. Um, there's actually an automatic process that happens to check if they're eligible for renewal without getting um, all of the information back from the consumer. So the most consumers are going to be um, automatically re-enrolled or have to just return some minimal information um, if they're still eligible for the program or not. But members who don't fill out necessary paperwork for renewal could lose coverage for at least six months. That's what happened to more than 12,000 Hoosiers from August to October last year, according to a state report. In 2016, Indiana lawmakers outlined lockout policies for HIP 2.0, but they were never implemented. The policies faced criticism from the federal Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. But that stance has changed under Seema Verma and the Trump administration. Fairchild says it's not clear what impact the new lockout policy will have, but he's optimistic most enrollees will keep their coverage. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Taylor Haggerty. The state says HIP members will have months to complete the renewal paperwork and will receive plenty of notice before the deadline.